Hi, Dr. Bella speaking. In a few minutes, I'm going to finish my three days water fast, which means in the past three days, I didn't consume anything else, only water. I don't know whether I look different or, or not. Probably I lost some weight. Uh, the third day was the most difficult one. Yesterday, I had a crazy busy day and probably one of my advice is take it easy while you are fasting, especially for three days because by yesterday evening I was kind of knocked out a little bit. I had to cancel my yoga class, a little bit of a headache and um, just um, lie down and I couldn't move kind of thing. And uh, by now I'm absolutely all right. So this is the end of the third day. And the interesting thing is I don't feel any hunger at all, nothing. At the same time, uh, I'm really looking forward to go back to my normal. I'm looking forward to my lovely food and the enjoyment of food. I think I appreciate it uh, much better now. I forgot to mention that especially if you do a three days uh, fast, you have to put electrolytes uh, into your water. Otherwise, you're going to uh, run low on them. So putting electrolytes with salt and other electrolytes into the water is important, not too much. So um, again, a little bit of a summary bef before I ceremoniously gonna break my uh, fast, uh, which means this is my breakfast um, after three days. So why um, I'm doing a three days uh, fast? I said uh, intermittent fasting is good. One day fast is better. Two day fast even better, but there are certain things that just kick in uh, on the second and the third uh, day. But I would like to summarize quickly the benefits of uh, fasting. So number one, uh, your blood glucose goes down and insulin level goes down, which improves uh, insulin sensitivity. Insulin resistance leads to diabetes. So this is something, it's, it's a very common and deadly disease on the long run. So this is something uh, very important to do. And once uh, you, the glucose is out, then kicks in the ketosis. Ketosis is a very, very he healthy thing for especially the nervous system. And when you are in ketosis, you burn your fat and you burn your fat out of your liver if there is anything, uh, your visceral fat and all the fat, fat reserves. So if anybody wants to lose weight, uh, being in ketosis is probably the best thing that uh, they can do. Also, I talked about autophagy, which is a decluttering of non-working protein from the cells. It, this is something very important if you are considering a good lifespan and health span. Also, during fasting, growth hormone production uh, improves and um, generally immune system uh, getting stronger and better. So fasting is really recommended. Uh, and this is not medical advice, but even in different cancer um, uh, disease, uh, fasting is uh, recommended, but obviously it needs to be consulted with a doctor before doing anything. Autoimmunity, autoimmune diseases uh, improve. Anything as on my uh, list? Yes, kind of throughout the third day, uh, stem cells uh, activity, these uh, pluripotent stem cell activity is uh, growing. DNA repair is growing. So there are plenty of historical benefits and and scientific um, scientific benefits of uh, fasting and non-eating or eating less. So uh, by sharing my experience, I really encourage everybody to eat less or fast um, because it's good for us. And after three days, <laughs> this is the first time when I eat a piece of food and I'm going to eat this lovely apple right now.